In an earlier video, I discussed using a unijunction circuit to trigger an SCR to operate a, flash, a high voltage flash tube circuit. Well, that's what we're doing here. So let's get moving. This is a high voltage flash tube control circuit. This one meg potentiometer controls your flash rate. It charges up this 4.7 microfarad capacitor. Here is your unijunction, in this case, a 2N 2646. And here is my SCR. Actually, it's a triac, but I you, you can use a triac as an SCR. And let's look at the high voltage circuit. In this case, here's my high voltage circuit that I've used in other places. These two wires here, this white and black wire, are the white and black wires here that connect back to this SCR. The white wire going to the anode, the black wire going to ground. All right, this uh, 12 volt battery through this high voltage generator circuit that's also covered in a separate video and page, it's all linked on the same page on how to do this, will charge up this uh, flash tube circuit. I'm using an external 24 microfarad. This is a non-polarized cap that come out of a refrigeration compressor. You can use electrolytic caps, whatever. That's covered on the flash tube page. And when I get a firing pulse from the unijunction to the SCR, I will get a flash from the uh, tube. You will see that at the end of these three schematics I'm going to quickly go over. Remember this flash is so fast that there's, I have difficulty with my uh, video camera picking up the flash but you can tell it's flashing and you can hear the shock wave through the tube as a click click click. Basically without the SCR unijunction circuit you have this. This generates this is a self-sustaining two-transistor oscillator circuit connected to that 12-volt battery. I use a, the case of that particular board, I had a 9-volt center tap transformer. You can use a 6.3 to 120. Um, rectified, filtered, basically. This will produce about 330 volts on the anode of the xenon flash tube. And here is the 24 microfarad capacitor across the flash tube. In this particular setup, this tube came with its own trigger transformer. I salvaged those out of something else. Press the switch, I get a flash. I'm going to replace the switch with an SCR. Same circuit again, I've replaced the switch with an SCR. The SCR anode goes back to the transformer and the cathode goes to ground. This is the gate impulse from the unijunction circuit. Here is the unijunction transistor trigger circuit. It is wired up exactly as you see here. I tested it from 5 volts to 20 volts. It works at any of those voltages. The voltage change might change the flash rate just a little but that's adjustable through the 1 meg capacitor what happens here this this point zero two two capacitor is charged up through this 100k resistor to 330 volts you turn on the SCR the capacitor discharges through the transformer primary and the SCR and creates a, a voltage sp spike of several thousand volts on the on the uh, xenon flash tube. This ionizes the gas enough that this capacitor will discharge through the tube creating a bright flash. Alright, we'll go on and look at the live video and that should conclude this very brief introduction to this circuit. Look in the description. It will have the web page with a closer explanation and all the schematics and so forth.
Thanks for listening and visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. Okay, this is presently connected and powered up. You see that small neon lamp there that tells me the uh, power supply is on and it's generating a high voltage. Let's trip on our other circuit. Alright, and I can control the speed of the flash by adjusting a potentiometer on the other board on the uh, test console with the unijunction let's look at the uh, let's cut it off Okay.